Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Cavation Engineering uh, YouTube channel. All right. So today I took the second lesson uh, regarding uh, module eleven, uh, lesson one. So this is part two. Uh, I think this lesson have two uh, more three parts. Then we will go to the other lesson. All right. Uh, before you watch this one, uh, I think I recommended to watch the previous one and then come to this one. All right. So uh, if you still not subscribe to Kavishan Engineering YouTube channel and please subscribe and please uh, share these videos with your friends, relatives and anyone who like to learn about aircraft maintenance. So this um, these uh, uh, lessons uh, you can uh, you can watch uh, before you go to um, your examinations uh, okay and also i want to remind uh, if you want to take the examinations please follow uh, uh, part 147 approved school and then uh, you can uh, engage uh, your examinations all right all right so now let's go to the lesson All right, so uh, today I'm going to teach module one, lesson one, uh, module 11, uh, lesson one, aeroplane, aerodynamics and flight controls, part number two. All right, so let's see what are the contents uh, in this uh, lesson. All right, so today I'm going to talk about control columns uh, and the rudder control and the infinite and uh, at last uh, vertical stabilizer offset. All right, okay, let's go to the control column. All right, the control column, also called a yoke or a stick, okay? Yoke or a stick is the main tool a pilot used to fly an airplane, all right? This is the main tool a pilot used to uh, fly an airplane. It controls uh, the major movements of the aircraft, okay? This control column is the one who... Uh, control the major movements of the aircraft okay what are the movements before we in the before lessons we talk about the yaw roll and pitch all right so example right uh, movements of the aircraft, like pitch up and down and the roll left and uh, right okay but uh, remember the 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 yawing right uh, is uh, controlled by the rudder okay it's not uh, it's, it's not the uh, sticks right it's not using the yoke or a stick it's using the pedals okay we will talk it later right so how the control column works let's see so let's see the pitch nose up and nose down we use elevators for this one so when the pilot pushes the control column forward it moves the elevator down if you push the uh, control column forward or a stick forward the elevators goes down this change the shape chamber of the tail horizontal stabilizer making the tail go up and the nose go down okay if we put uh, forward the nose go down right so when the pilot pulls the control column back the elevators go up pushing the tail down and the nose goes up right so this movement is called the pitch control and is used to climb or descend all right so now let's go the roll banking left or right so the control column usually has a wheel Okay, control column usually has a wheel yoke uh, like a car steering wheels. You normally have the Boeing or Boeing. Okay, when you talk about Boeing and Airbus, the Boeing has this uh, one, right? So when the wheel is turned left, wheel is turned left, the left aileron goes up, left lift on the left wing, and the right aileron goes down, more lift on the uh, right wing. So this causes the aircraft to roll, tilt to the left okay so turning the wheel to right does the opposite and the aircraft rolls to the right okay so this movement is called the roll control and it helps the airplanes turn left or right during flight okay okay so now let's go to the type of linkages type of linkages so the control column is connected to the control surfaces elevators and ailerons through from where from what kind of uh, connections mechanical uh, system and the electrical systems and the mix system so mechanical systems cables pulleys and rods directly move the control surfaces and the electrical systems usually the fly by wire signals are sent to electrical actuators and the mix system a combination of mechanical and electronic electronic parts okay so the control stick in military aircraft and helicopters. So military jets and helicopters use a center stick. Okay, in the helicopters and military jets, they use a center stick, right? Military uh, center stick, joystick type control. So the stick control both pitch and roll, moving the stick left or right control roll, and moving the forward or backward control pitch. 
So if move diagonally, it affects both roll and pitch at the same time diagonally. All right. So the stick return to the center when released. Okay. So you can see this is the elevator control by using the pulleys. Okay. When you push this one is uh, because of the pulleys go there, the control, control, control. Uh, control right so elevator you can see when we pull it or push it uh, then because of this pulleys this one will move because of the control push rods okay right so now the airbus and side stick fly by wire system airbus and the side stick right so airbus aircraft use the side stick located beside the pilot instead of central yoke okay so uh, the side stick uh, i took some short video in my uh, channel you can watch right the side stick is not connected directly to the flight control surfaces okay side stick is not connected directly to the flight control surfaces instead it sends electrical signal like a digital signal to the flight control computers like fly stick they send digital uh, signals to the flight control computers then flight control computers send to the actuators right so these computers process the pilot input and compare it with the pre set safety limits right so call the flight envelope and uh, if the command is within the safe limits it's sent to the flight controls and if the command goes beyond the safe limits like too much bank angle or step pitch the system limits the input to protect the aircraft okay so why use computers like flight envelope protections why we use this one prevent dangerous flying conditions right to avoid stalling over speed or structural stress and st assist pilots in emergency by keeping the aircraft within safe limits safe flying limits and example like if the pilot try to turn too hard uh, the computer won't allow the aircraft to roll more than maximum safe angle okay just remember it all right so you can see the uh, aileron control here right if you turn to the right side the aircraft turn to right right and okay if it is in the left side if turn to the left side okay you can see and this is the uh, stick control system stick control system you can just go through it all right Okay, and this is the boosted flight controls, uh, boosted flight controls, you can just go through it and this is control column. Okay, this is the uh, control column here, right? Okay, normally you can see this one in uh, Boeing aircraft, right? And the uh, like uh, small aircraft also, you can see this one. And yeah, here is the uh, helicopters, we're using the helicopters, uh, the uh, the center uh, control call controller, right, center mid, mid controller, and this is uh, a side stick, okay, this is called a side stick, okay. All right, so now let's go to the rudder control, right, the rudder is the flight control surface located on the vertical tail fin on an air, of an aircraft, so it controls the yaw movements, right, remember, the rudder, rudder uh, is the one who controls your movements. This is the left and right turning of the aircraft nose, okay, like this. So like turning over your head left and right. So how the pilots control the rudder? So pilots use rudder pedals which are located in their feet. So how the rudder control? We're using the pedals, okay. So push the pe uh, left pedals, move the rudder to the left, making the nose of the aircraft turn to the left. And pushing the right pedal, move the rudder to the right, turning the nose to the right, okay. So the rudder movements, the tail in the opposite direction, uh, causing the nose to yaw in desired directions, right. Example, push left pedal, tail goes right, nose turn left, uh, your left, okay. Just remember and push right pedal, tail goes to the left, nose turn right, your right, okay. So when the pilot stop pushing the pedals, the rudder turn is to neutral center positions and the aircraft will stop your wing. Just remember it is automatically come to the uh, neutral position. All right, how it is work? Simple physics, right? Let's see, the rudder changes the airflow over the vertical stabilizer fin, right? The rudder changes the airflow over the vertical stabilizer, right? vertical stabilizer it like fin. So this change the air pressure on each side. So more pressure on one side pushes the tail in the opposite direction, okay? So this causes the aircraft to yaw, uh, aircraft to yaw, turn left or right right so mechanical by fly by wire rudder system so traditional aircraft the mechanical systems with cable and pulleys but the modern aircraft like airbus may use fly by wire system where electronic signals sent to the rudder right however rudder pedals works the same way in almost all aircraft
So even though the joystick or a side stick, we have changed how pilots control roll and pitch. The rudder system has stayed mostly the same as design and use. Okay, just remember. And now let's go to the rudder pedals also work as a brakes. Okay, toe brakes. Rudder pedals we use to control the rudder and also we use the toe brakes, right? So in most aircraft, rudder pedals also control the brakes. So when the pilot push down their toes on the top of the pedals, this send a signal to apply per wheels. So these are called toe brakes. So pushing both pedals forward, pushing both pedals forwards, aircraft slow and or stop on the ground and pushing only one toe brake helps during ground turns. Okay, right. They have uh, toe brakes also, right? Okay, uh, yeah, this one is the rudder control. You can see uh, left rudder forward and the uh, aircraft turn to the left, you're to the left. Okay, right. Okay, this one is a uh, simple rudder control. Right here, can see the rudder pedals here. Here are the pedals, right? Okay, now let's go to the empennage. The empennage, also called the tail assembly, is the tail section of an aircraft. It plays a very important role in stability and control, just like the uh, feathers on an arrow help is flying straight, okay? So what is empennage? What is the empennage? The empennage usually include horizontal stabilizer and also vertical stabilizer. So horizontal stabilizer provides longitudinal stability like a pitch control and works with the elevator to help the nose up, nose go up and down. And the vertical stabilizer like a fin provides directional stability, your control, and works with the rudder to help the nose turn left or right. Okay. So why is empennage important? It keeps the aircraft balanced and stable during flight. Okay, infinite, uh, it keeps the aircraft balanced and stable during flight and it helps the aircraft in flight, uh, flight in straight line without wobbling or drifting. Okay, so it also helps control movements in pitch and yaw. So just like the fins or dart or arrow, keep it flying straight. The infinite does the same for an airplane. All right. Okay, so Empennage design in different aircraft. So in small aircraft like uh, engine propeller airlines, air, 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 aircraft, the horizontal stabilizer must be placed carefully. Why? It needs to handle the propeller slipstream. Okay, when the propeller is running, the slipstream can come fast airflow from the propeller. And it also deal with the turbulence caused by the wings. Okay, so some aircraft have a dorsal fin. If some aircraft have a dorsal fin, uh, this is an extension of the vertical fin, uh, like a dorsal fin. They have a dorsal fin like this. So uh, that goes uh, forward along the fuselage, uh, often up to the back of the window. Okay, that is called dorsal fin. Okay, uh, it improves directional stability. Dorsal fin improves the directional stability, especially if the aircraft has a large nose wheel fairing, which creates extra surface area in front. Okay, so modern aircraft without empennage. With fly-by-wire technology and advanced flight computers, it is now possible to fly aircraft that are inherently unstable. So some military aircraft are designed without empennage for better speed, agility, 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 and the stealth. Okay. So these aircraft rely on computers to constantly adjust to control surface to keep them safe. All right. Okay, you can see the uh, empennage consists of uh, yeah horizontal stabilizer, vertical stabilizer, rudder, trim tabs, elevators. Okay, you can see this one like classic empennage, and uh, these are the type of empennage, right? T type empennage, right here. Different types of empennage, right? Yeah. Now we'll go to the vertical stabilizer offset, right? The vertical stabilizer or uh, is the upright tail fin. Vertical stabilizer is upright tail fin on an aircraft. It does two important jobs. What are the two important jobs? Holds the rudder, rudder, it holds the rudder, which controls your left, right nose movements and provides directional stability, keep the aircraft flying straight, okay? And then uh, uh, the problem, cork, uh, corkscrew airflow from the propeller, corkscrew airflow from the propeller. So on single engine, propeller driven aircraft, the spinning propeller creates a spiraling corkscrew line airflow that moves backwards along with the fuselage. Okay. So this spiral airflow hits one side of the vertical stabilizer harder than the other. Okay. Right. Yeah. This kind of thing, uh, corkscrew uh, airflow is coming, right? You can see, right? I just show you, right? So uh, this spiral airflow hits one side of the vertical stabilizer harder than the other. So this causes the airflow to your turn, right? Your or like turn uh, sidely to one side. 
So even if the pilot doesn't touch the rudder, it's natural side effects of the rotating propeller. Okay. So uh, I mean, the, the because of this one, aircraft can go slightly to another, even uh, the pilot doesn't touch to the rudder, right? So it's natural side effects of the rotating propeller. This is a natural thing because of the rotating propeller. So the solution, the vertical uh, stabilizer offset, right? The solution for this uh, crock screw uh, airflow is a vertical stabilizer is we put to a little bit offset, right? So the, the, the to fix this issue, Designers slightly angle offset the leading edge of the vertical stabilizer to one side. Okay, you can see this one a little bit offset the fin, right? Uh, this balance the pressure from the rotating airflow. Okay, this balance the uh, pressure from the rotating airflow and it reduces unwanted jaw. Okay, this reduces unwanted jaw, helping the aircraft fly straight without constant uh, rudder input. So these small adjustments have improved stability and pilot comfort. Okay, pilot comfort, right? You can see this one. It's like uh, they put the uh, fin to offset here, and this is the fuselage, and this is the slipstream. Because of that, uh, the 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 rod, uh, the aircraft will not yaw to one side. Okay, uh, and also pilot doesn't need to keep the uh, rudder pedals uh, straight away, and he he can just relax. Okay. So key points, the stabilizer is not perfectly straight. It's angle just a bit to counteract the propeller spiral airflow. Okay, right. Okay, you can see this is the uh, air force, uh, the force come to here because of the propeller's natural effect. Okay, that is called corkscrew effect. All right. All right. Uh, thank you very much uh, for participating in this lesson. That is the end of this lesson. This is very short lesson. Okay, this is part two. And then I will check uh, part three also. Right, because uh, module 11 is very long lesson have uh, I think uh, in, in the book it's uh, the PDF it has around hundred like uh, 3000 uh, pages right so I will try to manage uh, all the lessons for you guys you can learn good and you can I think it's better because uh, when you read from yourself uh, I, uh, it's good but if you listen this kind of video you have a more uh, knowledge than you reading alone you are not uh, be like uh, very um, how to say uh, yeah uh, you're not lazy right you're not lazy you can just watch the video and you can study right all right so uh, that is the end of the lesson and uh, i'll tell you please subscribe to Vision engineering and please uh, share these videos with all the aviation lovers and the aircraft maintenance lovers all right okay so again thank you for participating in these lessons and see you on next lesson have a good day for all of you